Who, who would you think? Well, I'm just asking yours. My incomes are actually related to me. Well, I have a lot yours going... Yours is just a list of who you want to bang. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, this is the second... DTF, ladies. DTF. Um, <laughs> is this the second porn episode? Hello, I'm Sally. Mm. That's Sarah. <laughs> and welcome to... Oh, hey, gang! That was a good one. Yeah, I forgot to bake before I started. I don't want to press any of the buttons because it makes it explode on me or something. And then we have the issue that we had last week. That's what she said as well. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I want to talk about LGBT icons today. Do you want to talk about that? <laughs> <laughs> you know, there was a Whitney Houston documentary on last night in America. No. Because I think Whitney Houston is a gay icon. No. Why? What? Why? <laughs> <laughs> Why don't you think that? Of course she is. No. Want to dance with somebody? Want to feel the heat with somebody? Oh, that makes you... <laughs> yeah, want to dance with somebody. So slutty dancing makes you with a gay icon. somebody who loves me. No, well, anyway, they talked about her, her like, bisexuality and stuff. Well, what's the evidence? Um, apparently there's a lot of evidence with her assistant, um, Robin Crawford or something. Um, years ago, they, when they were 18 or something, they lived together and they were always mm. squashing the rumour. Um, but Bobby Brown said that she was bisexual. Okay. Well, yeah. Yeah, that's a Well, look, there's a grain source. of salt. <laughs> okay. um, no, but apparently, apparently she was bisexual because there's, like, letters and stuff, like, must be talking about scissoring. Uh, no, I'm kidding. I don't know what they're talking about. But apparently it's true. You know who else is an LGBT icon that has gay rumours swelling around them? <laughs> As my dad would say, Salon Dion. Um, Celine Dion. No. Oh, that's just tacky. What? Why? How is that tacky at all? Her husband died. But that doesn't mean that she's not fluid with her sexuality. Oh, don't say fluid. <laughs> Why? That's the word to use. That's the new hip word on the street. Yes, but those rumours were never around before. Yeah, they were. They've been around for years. I've never From heard that That's that thing, Where Does My Heart Beat Now, that song. Like, Where does my heart beat now? I've never heard a rumour that's Celine Dion. I've heard a lot of them. From multiple sources. You were also with a woman who hopped into bed and you didn't know she was DTF. <laughs> You know what? I'm going to say it again. She asked me around years ago to go and play Sims. I wanted to go play The Sims. She got into bed. I figured she was tired, so I left. Yeah. And she called me a chicken when I left, and I was like, yeah. No, but I was like, well, that was uncalled for. Because I didn't even understand because I'm so dense, like, that she was DTF. And you're a reliable source for Celine Dion. Oh, yeah. I mean, you get a feeling about people, too. I got a feeling about her. I don't know. You don't have a very good gator. (laughs) I have the greatest gator. I don't think that's true. (laughs) I think it is. No, actually, that's true. Well, I can sniff out a married woman a mile away who's a DTF. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah, she hops into bed. Yeah, and I'm like, ooh, DTF. Um, but other ones. But I'd just like to let the audience know that the first time Sally tried to say DTF, she actually said, yeah, I'm down to GFF. <laughs> Don't say that. I didn't, I thought I was saying DTF and then I forgot what the letters were when oh. I started it. <laughs> and you work in communications? I do. Digital strategy. Mm. So I don't need your spelling and stuff. <laughs> Just my You couldn't even spell an acronym properly. <laughs> yeah, I look I made an error. Um, because I was thinking about oh god, it's such a tragic story. When I look back on that kind of stuff, I think I cringe, I get like oh. still, things still haven't changed. Uh, people need to tell you, me. Do you have had some funny experiences? <laughs> When you call me 
years ago before my mobile phone said, Die, no! What? Just, what, are you, what are you saying? God knows, oh, God, no, 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 stop! I'm just like anticipating. Hmm? Remember when you called? And it was before mobile phones had maps and stuff like that. And you're like, oh my damn road! That's right, I uh, needed Logan uh, Road. She was on Logan Road, people. <laughs> I, I can't find Garn Road. I'm the first to admit that I cannot <laughs> find my way anywhere. And I think everything in Brisbane takes 20 minutes. So no matter where I am, I'm like, see you in 20 minutes. No, sorry, Sunshine Coast is about an hour and a half. Yeah. Um, so you would say it's paradise in 20 minutes. Yeah, I'm like, see you in 20 minutes. That doesn't seem like it's going to take long. Yeah, no, it does. It does take a long time. Okay. Yeah. Anyway, I want to talk to you about gay icons. Do you want to talk about gay icons? Sure, why not? Because I'm really into the gay icons, as you could probably imagine. Who's your favourite gay icon? Um... <laughs> you don't know? Do you want to know mine? Do you need some time to think? Yeah. Do you want to know fictional or real life people? Oh, I forgot that. Fictional? You want fictional, don't you? Because you want me to say Carol Ed? I don't want you to say that. I'm seeing that on your chest right now. <laughs> oh, yeah. Um, but your name's not Carol. Yeah, I told you about that kid, didn't yeah. I? Yeah. Um, is your name Carol? I was like, <clears throat> no. Just picked up my zipper like, <laughs> it's not. Um... Well, I've got Carol Ed. I've got Xena. Yeah. Xena Warrior Princess. Massive gay icon. I really want to talk to Lucy Lawless because I still have a massive crush on Lucy Lawless. Did you ever have that? Like a crush on Lucy Lawless? No. I kind of figured everyone had a crush on Lucy Lawless. Absolutely not. I used to have a, my first car was a laser and the number plate, I can't remember the numbers, but the number plate was PLX and I used to say powerful like Xena. My little laser. <laughs> it was not that powerful at all. <laughs> no. Yes, I have been in it. Yeah, but it was great. And I used to call it Powerful Like Xena. And I called it Lucy after Lucy Lawless. Um, and also my child is called Lucy, but that wasn't. It was after Lucy Ball. Although you can be mistaken for thinking. I just, I'm just going to stop for a second and say, is the building haunted that we're in? Because that... Is it a baby or a cat? I don't know. Because it sounds like a baby and then it sounds like a cat. and then this It is... sounds like a cat, but then sometimes it sounds like help. Yeah, like there's some woman she, trapped somewhere. She pulls it or something. I think it's fine. I think it's people in their apartments. I've got Buffy. Buffy's mm. a pretty good gay icon, I think. You reckon? Do you even watch that show? Do you know what I'm talking about? What the hell are you talking about? Do you know what Buffy is? No. <laughs> okay. Well. Wow. Whatever. Friday nights, Buffy and Felicity. Yeah. And then Buffy was Tuesday night. Yeah, it kept changing around, then it kept getting later as well. I loved it when um, Tara Benson was in there. Tara. Amber Benson. Of course you did. Amber Benson was... Oh. Because it's... <laughs> It was a lesbian relationship yes. on the screen. I wish, even at the time, I was like, oh, please kiss more. Like, just do it or something. You hands all the time? Yeah, but, you know, girls hold hands. I was like, I need more tongue. Oh. <laughs> well, I was. I was like 16 or something. No, don't like, kiss there. I'm like, no, I need more tongue, girls. Like, this is, this is not doing it for me. I was oh. desperate for bloody representation. Yeah. But Buffy, yeah, but then when you were with somebody, you didn't know what was going on. <laughs> Are you ever going to let... I'm, I regret telling you that story no. now. Yeah, I was young. I was very young. I was young and impressionable. Well, I wasn't impressionable because I was DTF, but just was not aware that other people wanted or were DTF with me. I pretty much need you to start taking your clothes off. Oh, Not no. you. 
<laughs> Ew. Ew. Not you, ever. Oh, God. Sorry. Ruined my night. A little bit of sick came up in my mouth. Oh, God. <laughs> I vomited. <laughs> I'm still vomiting. Ah. <laughs> um, Buffy kind of came out to her mum and stuff when um, she had to tell her mum she was a slayer, remember? Yes. I didn't remember that. Actually. Yeah. And her mum's like, is it because you didn't have a... Like a father figure in the house, and like, have you ever tried not being a slayer? I was like, lol. But the greatest one is the Babadook. <laughs> Lord, the Babadook. Are you just pulling these things out of air now? Yeah. Whitney Houston. No, she Celine is. Celine Dion. Yeah. Whitney, definitely. Celine Dion, absolutely. Gay icon and also bisexual woman. <laughs> You're happy to speak for her. Yeah, I am. Um, very happy. Um, Carol Ed, what's the best road trip movie ever? Um, National oh. Lampoons. Carol. Oh, sorry, did someone say the movie Carol? Yeah, that sounds right. <laughs> um, Buffy? Yeah. Xena? Yeah. The Babadook? That's a pretty hilarious one. Have you seen The Babadook? No. You should watch it. Do you want to watch it now? No. <laughs> <laughs> it was kind of scary. Like, it's... Well, oh, I'm pretty, I guess horror movies are. Yeah, no. But you know how they're usually gross? Like, I remember the last Halloween one, the latest one of that. I think it was that. And I started watching it thinking, oh, yeah. Like, you know, I'm pretty, pretty okay with this kind of stuff. No. I was like, oh, I just don't feel like the trauma of Michael Myers. Oh, the Rob Zombie one. Yeah, it started in the hospital. Yeah. Yeah, and I just was like... It's from Zombie. Yeah. it's going to be gorier. But he really scares me. Octavia Spencer gets killed. She's a nurse. Mm. Oscar winner. Um, um, help. Yeah, Michael Myers really scares me. It's bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> and it's not easy. Um, but I think the Babadook is a really good one. So, Sally, tell me, why do you think the Babadook is... <laughs> Okay, I can't. Well, Sarah, I'm glad you asked. Um, <laughs> but the Babadook is a gay icon, though. On Tumblr, sure. Yeah, well, I think that's where it started. And then, like, started popping up at Pride stuff and that. But I think it's because of, like, the wording and stuff of the book. So, basically, the premise of the movie is, I think she's a widow, this woman, and she's got this kind of widow son, and um, they she goes to read him a story one night and it's like this Babadook book and she's like in her mind like where the hell did that book come from and she reads it and it's kind of rhymy and stuff and it's got kind of you know like like I guess like rhymes in it like um you know I'll wager with you I'll make you a bet the more you deny the stronger I get you know because I kind of think I mean that seems to me like very homosexual you know, like, and he's kind of fierce, the Babadook. Mm. Like, he's fierce. He's got, like, a top like a hat. jaunty hat. Yeah, he's a jaunty hat. It's kind of cool. I like it. So you need to see it, probably, mm. if you want to be up with the gay lingo. And oh, what, well, speaking of. What not? Watching Atomic Blonde the other night. Holy cow. Hello, Christmas. And that was a complete surprise to me. Really? That lesbian scene. I knew it was happening. I didn't. Because I'd seen trailers and stuff before. So mm. I knew there was going to be elements of that. No, see, I hadn't seen anything leading up to it. Because um, Charlize Theron scares me a little bit. Um, oh. Scares my pants off. Do you write? You write you need, you need a napkin <laughs> or something? Like... I'm sliding up my chair. <laughs> and that's a material chair. So oh. You need to... Yeah, get some, get some and towel. <laughs> <laughs> no, that was a complete surprise to me and I loved it. I was like, <gasps> see how desperate I am for lesbian action in films? Like, did I tell you that I saw Disobedience? Yes. Oh, my God. The sex scene in the middle of that movie, and not saying like it, like, because it's not anything like ass and tits and stuff <laughs> like that. No, it's just this, it's really intense and it's really beautiful and it's really powerful. And there's this scene um, where Rachel Weiss is like spitting into 
Rachel McAdams mouth. Ew. Yeah, you say that, but when you see it, it's like, I was like, this is just like mic drop. Boom, I'm out. Guys, this is so romantic. <laughs> yeah, so lovely. That's what I love to do. It wasn't like... <laughs> I love you. It wasn't like that. It wasn't like a gross spit. It was like... Have you ever spat in anyone's mouth? No. Has anyone ever spat in your mouth? No, but I think... No, you're missing the point. It's not like... It's not spitting. It's just, it's saliva. Like... Do you know what you spit normally? <laughs> no, it's just really beautiful. It's just like the other saliva. <laughs> you have to see it. To understand what I'm saying. I don't think I do. I'm going to show you afterwards. No. So you'll know. No. Exactly. No. Anyway. Who are your favourite gay icons? Let's go on to your stuff. Oh. <laughs> I'm bored with mine. <laughs> no, I'm not bored I talked with about mine. Carol at all. <laughs> well, I watched Carol again yesterday. Oh, God. Carl Lutter, of course, one of the first transgendered, I guess, icons for an Australian to have. Mm. I rented her. I loaned <laughs> I rented her. <clears throat> I don't think she rents herself out. Like. <laughs> um, I loaned her first book out of the You borrowed it out of the library. council library, yeah. I see. What you did said I loaned. Say? You loaned it out. Which would indicate that it was your book that you then allowed the library to loan out on your behalf. Don't they say loaned out? Borrowed. You say borrowed. Oh, God. I'm not having this conversation with you, <laughs> DFF. <laughs> Lock me down for fucking. Oh, don't try and spin it. I'll spin it anywhere down my boys. Um, and then, obviously, as I grew up and transgendered people became more visible, it was Georgina Bayer, who was a member of Parliament in New Zealand. I really admired her because... She'd seen the other side of life, let's say. In, like <laughs> she'd worked as a sex worker. And oh, cool. Was down on her luck and things like that. And when she ran for parliament, she was so very upfront about it. I mean, no spin. That's a good thing, though, isn't it? To get ahead of your secrets. Maybe there was an element to that, but I just think from having heard interviews with her before, it was just an element of. I'm doing politics my way. Yeah. That's cool. Which was that, um, admirable. Did you like Kylie Minogue? Yes, of course I love Kylie. Mm. Did you love her when you were younger or when yes. you were older? <laughs> Behind Debbie Gibson, <laughs> Kylie was my second cassette. I was a Martika fan. Oh, Debbie Gibson. you. <laughs> Yeah, that was a good song. Well, it's definitely Martika. Um, my dad tells a Kylie Minogue joke. Do you want to hear it? No. <laughs> it's like, what did Kylie Minogue say when she fell in the mud? I should be so mucky. <laughs> I know, it's such a dead joke. <laughs> he still tells it to this day. Like, I'd say, read the room. And to the grandkids, and the grandkids are like, it was Kylie Minogue. Like, <laughs> yeah, thanks a lot, Grandpa. How dare they? Get yeah. some education. You get some education. You bloody get it. I think Tracy Grimshaw is a gay icon. She's your icon. You're just sliding right in because you're a lesbian. <laughs> and in the vain hope that she's a lesbian, a lesbian too. And wants to marry me. Um, yeah. I'd just like to say a lot of yours are uh, based on innuendo and <laughs> alleged behaviour. <laughs> Whitney. Celine. No, Whitney was. That's that's a fact. From Bobby Brown. No, her family and stuff as well have said it. I don't think I've ever heard that. Are you for real? It's like a massive thing. Oh, are you saying Celine Dion one's a massive thing too? Um, well, there have always been rumours and I think no. it's kind of like if the rumours won't go away. Sorry. I think if there was a Celine Dion lesbian rumour, I would have heard about it from Kathy Griffin. Mm, I don't know. She's pretty scared of Celine Dion, I think. 
Yes, but she says a lot of funny stuff about it. And she called Renee Zellweger sweaty puffy coco. So I feel that she'd be able to comment if she love Renee Zellweger. Um, well, no, I think Tracy Grimshaw, even though Tracy says she's not gay, I still think that we could meet as people and fall in love. Um, and I asked her out for coffee as well. Mm. So that was a couple. When did you ask her out? <laughs> Um, <clears throat> a couple of years ago. Oh, she must be really busy. <laughs> well, she's probably thinking about it. Um, <laughs> yeah, a lot of stories to do on, you know, half price televisions at Harvey Norman. Yeah, well, I felt really confident one night um, that she would have a coffee with me, and I thought, well, so it's confident drunk. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I was half in the bag. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I don't really drink anymore. Um, <laughs> <laughs> no, I was, I was at home and, I, you know, had a few ciders and I thought, actually, Sal, that's a good idea. You should definitely message her on Twitter because she started following me on Twitter. Um, Maybe Trace is just as oblivious to flirting as you are. Maybe. That's a good point. Not well, I sent, her an e I sent her a message on Twitter because I could do it because we followed each other. So I could send her the personal message and she um she didn't get back to me um which was you know which is fine or her assistant <laughs> i don't know I, I think trace is on i think she controls her own social oh i don't think so um i absolutely think so i'm a thousand percent sure she does and i'll i'll text you when we have our coffee <laughs> why do you think that what do you think actually makes a gay icon what's your question what makes a gay icon, Sarah? Um, I need to feel a connection. I need to feel some emotion. I need to feel their passion. But do you think they have to have done stuff for our community? Or yes, definitely. Is it, or is it just because they're fabulous? Like Beyonce is fabulous. So Yes, but Beyonce is fabulous. I mean, lemonade. Oh, that's great. I mean, come on, girl. Yeah. Well, you're um, preaching to the choir because I love that album. Okay. Calm down. Yeah. We're not, you, why don't we're you not take talking it? Beyonce credentials, okay? <laughs> why don't you take it down a couple of notches <laughs> and uh, start again? <laughs> <laughs> she is, but then she speaks out. That's what I want. I yeah. want somebody who's going to, and that was the problem with her at the beginning. Because remember when she first came out and she was with Destiny's Child and because it was such a Christian-y vibe, she always distanced herself from that kind of discussion. I wasn't really into Destiny's Child per se. Oh, we danced many a night at Options. <laughs> oh, yeah. What else did we dance to at Options? Britney, Britney Spears, yeah. <laughs> I remember Brendan used to do that um, chair dance, Stronger. dance, yeah. Stronger than yesterday. Mm. That was great, that song. That is a great song. Yeah. And he used to do that chair dance and I used to be drunk and I used to be like, ah, do it again. Um, <laughs> another reason why I've stopped drinking. Um, <laughs> yeah, no, I, I agree with you. I kind of think... Um, Clearly, I have a bang list of <laughs> people I think are yeah, that's true. icons. Um, but I also think, yeah, like if they're standing up for people as well, mm. like the, and and even if they are people like Janelle Monae and stuff, who who is come out as what pansexual or something like that. Uh, I can't remember if she said pansexual or whether she just said fluid. Yeah, fluid. But I um, read somebody else actually did come out as pansexual, the lead singer of Panic at the Disco. Yeah. I feel like that was an inevitability. Much like Celine Dion, apparently. I swear to God, it's true. But, well, it's, I don't know if it's true, but there are rumours. Allegedly, she's a lesbian. So. I <laughs> mean, you're putting allegedly there. Yeah, there. allegedly. Um, don't come at me, bitches. Um... Yeah, but the Whitney Houston thing, that's a real thing. 
um, I think when you're talking about like other gay icons, I think like what you, you're talking about, Martina Navratilova, mm. Billie Jean King, yeah, who else? Elton John, Queen Latifah. She's, she's never come out though. though, as well. Yeah, she's never come out though, but I think it seems noted. <laughs> um, if I was to be like, let's use your gator. Sal, I'd be like, ding, 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 ding. There'd be, I, I would be awake for that. I'd be like, um, yeah, hello, 100 quarter. Like, she got the vibe, she got the lesbo vibe. Oh, don't speak lesbo. Well, I don't, I, I don't know if I have that. I think I do. I kind of want to be the, the charismatic person that people. You've described yourself as 100 footer before. Oh, I know. But I don't think I have this. Do I have a swag? Do I have a. A lesbian swag. Yeah. Yes. Cool. Yeah, that's great. It's great news. <laughs> <laughs> I'm amazed when other people who commented on your style haven't also said that. Well, I think it's a given when they do it. They're just like, wow, who is this stylish lesbian? This yeah. is amazing. I've never seen anything as incredible in my life. That's what I can hear in their heads. Yeah. And when they say, hey, nice glasses or oh, great shirt. Oh, so like do you hear voices often? <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to get Felicity here and she's going to go, yeah, it's true. We can't walk down the street without people going, you, great. Okay. Yeah, so. Never met Felicity. Don't think I ever will. No, she's my work wife, so. Yeah. She has a husband, some kids. She's still my work wife. I'm still stylish as fuck. Okay. Monique Brumby, gay icon. Yes. Completely gay icon. She's great. Isn't she? She's great. I love that chat. It was a great interview. Everyone else loved it too. Bloody emails galore. <laughs> Crazy. It went nuts. Um, Gaga, what do you reckon about her? Yeah. Is she, is she straight or? I don't know. Here I am trying to like slap a label on everybody, yeah. but I'm not, I just, I need to call them fluid. Fluid. Well, that's the thing. Like people can be fluid. Elton John, did I yeah. say him? Ian McKellen? Yes. He's great. I love him. I think he should have been Dumbledore. Well, he was busy at the time. Yeah, but he should have been Dumbledore. Oh, and I stand by that. <laughs> yeah, just he's the Dumbledore when I read it in my head, and when I watch the movies, I imagine that it's him. You do a lot of things in your head as Gandalf, because I live in my head. I'm like, yeah, that's where I am. I'm like, just wondering, questioning constantly. Like, so yeah, so I don't think actually you need to be gay to be an icon, because clearly people like share, not gay. No icon. Just absolute blow out of the water. Surface. And I guess the, I guess the relatable thing about Cher is when Chaz came out as transgendered, or sorry, even lesbian, wasn't very understanding. And that's great. And I love that she was open enough to admit that because it's kind of like parents. Like, yeah, my parents weren't like open armed about it either. Well, no. Yeah, and I loved that. I loved that she was a human being about it. Yeah. So, yeah, that's what I loved about her work. But that's the other thing that is, I guess, iconic about it is, okay, let me learn about this. Yeah. Let me understand this. Let me grasp it. That's what a lot of people lack about it. It's not being open. It's not wanting to understand anything. It's about not wanting to mm. yeah it was kind of it was, that was a really great moment mm. i think and she's in that new mum and me movie too yeah here we go again did we need to no i pretty I, much had my ticket i just have and... a little bit of a fear that it's not going to be very good is meryl in it no because she's not in any of the previews that's weird and then it's young meryl yeah He's not actually young Meryl at all. Some other I know, bird. it's not Mammy Gummer. <laughs> oh, it's some other bird. It's 
So, I don't, yeah, I don't know. It just feels odd to me. It just feels odd. Um, okay, well, that's cool. So, we've pretty much had, in this episode, a ghost cat. Yeah. Um, we've had... Well, I had some more. Did you? Sorry. <laughs> keep going. Sorry to interrupt you. I thought we were finishing up. <sighs> well, my more modern ones are Laverne Cox. Yeah. Janet Mock. Yeah, Janet Mock is great. Is amazing. And just um, Carmen Carrera. Mm-hmm. From Drag Race. Yeah. All right. Who else have you got? That's all. Yeah. They're my two more modern ones. And because mine is essentially, as you've said, a bang list of wow, Tracy I mean. Grimshaw, Carol Ed, Xena. Mm. Um, Melina Dietrich, I would put on that. Dietrich, I would put on that list. Linda Carter. <laughs> then and now. Always. But no, Tracy Grimshaw is atop of my... LGBT icons like <laughs> Tracy if you're listening otherwise known as the bang list <laughs> Tracy if you're listening I just want to have a coffee <laughs> I think we have a lot in common um who's knocking at the door the police <laughs> <laughs> I've only messaged her twice mm. you're allowed to do that mm. all right see you next week um next week is Rodney Croom amazing interview Oh my goodness. I'm going to actually split it up into two parts. I'm going to release it in the same week, but I'm going to split it up into two parts because he talks about Tasmania in the 90s, well, before the 90s, um, Not the 80s. 80s and 90s, and then we talk about actual marriage equality. Yeah. Brilliant. Absolutely. Amazing. Absolutely adored it. Okay. See you guys. See ya.